Hello friends, in this video I will explain Ajax tutorial using PHP MySQL. How to get data from database using Ajax, jQuery, PHP and MySQL. So first of all I have created one Ajax tutorial folders inside my server. So you can see exams 8 htdocs inside ajax tutorial and also i have created one file index.php and also i have created one database ajax tutorials and also i have created one tables users tables users table inside i have added some entry like a one two three and inside i have added like some fields name email mobile number and address and created dates so i will open and you can see is like localhost ajax tutorial i will refresh this page so you can see it's showing the blanks because inside index.php file inside i have not did anything just i have typed like this so let's remove this one and we can do with a coding about how to get data so first of all we need to create a tables like a html table so let's use any bootstrap table so just go to google and search like a bootstrap table so just search like this and you can go to i think doublescreenschools.com good so just go inside and just try yourself and copy all the codes like run so you look like good so you can see it here so just go to and copy all the codes and put our index.php file inside just change the name like here you can type like uh, users data users list okay now go to back and refresh the page so we can see let's close this file we don't need now you can see it is showing some information like first name last name emails so let's remove all and just make a here title like users just put here title users and we don't need a like p text so i can remove the p text and also we need to add a like our fields like uh, inside data table inside their database inside there like a id name email mobile number address and query so let's make a our fields in a index.php file inside id name email over there after we can make like a mobile address and created dates so just write a date okay now i will remove i don't need now anymore just here i can pass id get data okay now we already declare like a bootstrap min.js file and jquery min.js file so this is the like ajax file we need to call to ajax to our server and server can give the data and we can show here our data inside already there inside tables okay so let's start to create an ajax function so just type a here scripts script, because we have already declared our plugin file like jquery.min.js let's copy and put bottom like here okay so here you can create a one function get data let's make small and here we can type our ajax code so dollar ajax dollar dot ajax so ajax code inside we can write uh, our code so type which method we can use i think we can use a post method post method is a based way post i made capital after we need to provide a url so url inserts i make a small letters okay. url Inside I can create a one function dot php. We need to create a one file function dot php. Also we can pass here like a type is equal to list. So we know what we need to get because we can type like multiple add, edit, delete this result. Okay. So now type is equal to list and make a comma. After we need to is that data type. Data type we can use like a JSON. So we know. Okay. So we can get all the data by server. So all the data passing to JSON.
Okay, now we can make a like a success message. Suppose server said what message we have received. So we need to pass here data. So let's make a success. 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 I think we to see success function. We don't need it like this. So just we need to pass function inside data. So whatever I receive, I need to pass here. And also we need to pass like an error. Suppose whatever I receive the error, so we need to pass inside error. So functions and we need to remove here. Also you can pass the data whatever we receive inside error. Okay. Now is the Ajax code is done because Ajax we have passed like a here post method inside URL we have passed like function dot php inside type is equal to list. So it's a get method we have used type is equal to list and data type is equal to JSON and success and error to function we have right here. So once you can load the page, so we need to call this function. So like get data, we can pass bottom. So let's create a now server side coding. So just first we need to create a like a function dot PHP file. So let's create a function dot PHP files. So function dot PHP file we have created now. Also we need to connect our database to server. So let's create another file config dot php files so let's config dot php files okay now we need to write first database connection code so let's create a php step start php and we can type like here like a server name dollar server name is equal to local because my server name is local Lots of places are only local everybody using. Let's copy and put here database name means username to root. Username and we can pass here like a password. So password was blank. So just you can put your password. And also last thing is remaining database. So dollar database. So our database name. Let's go and copy Ajax tutorials. So let's put using the Ajax tutorials inside here. Okay, now we need to make connection. Is it connect to our MySQL app? So con, I create a new variable dot con and we can do MySQLi. Inside we need to pass every variable. Like first we need to pass, here you can pass four parameters like server name, second parameter like let's make a smaller letter server name copy and paste also you can copy username dollar username also you can copy password dollar passwords and also you can copy dollar database so here is the connection to database server server connection database connection we have did here so let's say is a connected not connected so if we can type if connection error means connect errors so it's going to inside otherwise going to outside else means suppose error found so means is a not connected suppose error not found so it's not connected means connected error found so means not connected error not found so connected so I need to die and I can type here message connection app and also I make a here contact and I also put here so we know what is the error connect app and here we can make like echo successfully connected success just what success okay we already created means we have created like config.php inside database connection code now we need to call inside function so let's start here php and here we can make like the include include so the same path like comping dot php so here we are calling the comping dot php let's go to our websites and refresh the page like uh, where is the oh i think i will close you know let's refresh so you can see it here showing the like blank because now I open the my terminal and I refresh the page. So here calling the one file like function.php 
in post method also you can see it let's click on so you can see it like local host as a product inside function.php type is equal to list and status is equal to 200 so okay so let's go to here so database connection working very well no issue so let's make some error in database connection so you can understand database connection what type error again let's make like a like ajax tutorials because this is the like like this database is not available inside php my admin so let's go to back and refresh so you can see it again calling the functions and he's told me you see unknown database is showing the errors so database connection working very well let's go to back and same as name we can put and i can remove this is the echo we don't need now anymore let's go to inside function dot php and we need to make query to get the data inside database table so first of all we need to make a condition if is not empty dollars get type and and type is equal to is equal to list so it's going to inside otherwise it's going to outside because we need to make another function like another video we can create like how to add data using ajax so we can create a another lc type is equal to add so it's going to inside so let's make a query how to get the data dollar sql i will create the one variable dollar sql select star from this table name select select star from users so it's small letter you can write all small letters so it's worth and you can write a capital letter so whatever you can write inside users so you can write table name here okay now results we need to connect to our database connection dollar sum query to sql so we can pass here sql because you can see this is the variable we have declared this config.php file so you can see it we have created here variable dot connection okay so is a connection we have set inside like a select start from and query we can write so now we need to check Okay, database inside data there or not there. So if my skill result number of rows less than is equal to zero. So data and only you can found inside data. So it's going to if condition, otherwise going to else part. So here we can write like message like record not found. Whatever you can write. Okay. So let's make a here value because we have already their data inside data table means database. So you can see it here user table inside we have already there three records. So let's make a now while loop and get the data inside for loop. While dollar rows is equal to dollar result case association. This is the function you need to use because this is the all function about my file face and here you can get the data let's print one data so i can show you echo is equal to id okay let's go to browser and refresh the page so you can see it i go browser and refresh the page so you can see it here one two three because we have get this data one two three let's create here table wise back to response to server and we can show inside front end so let's create a one dollar html variable dollar html so we need to create a one html variable html variable inside we need to store all the data in an html format so we can use it like tr let's create inside one tr here like tr and td so let's copy means cut otherwise cut what we can do i think cut is the best option cuts and after you can type here like uh, id and we have made a contact because every data we need to contact to this variable and after this variable whatever information store we can pass to server to front end okay now just i think we have their name name email mobile address and date 
So here name emails mobiles address and also last column we have created date. So you can create we have created date. So you can see inside the store and else but we can do something like this call spam not here here call spam is equal to hundreds and here you can pass the record not spam okay and we can remove we don't need now everything okay so we have all the data we are storing in like a dollar estimate table variable inside so we need to pass this html to front side so we can create dollar json because we are using the json this is the variable whatever you can like you can use because i am like to json so i am using variable name dollar json and dollar html i pass here so now we need to use simple echo json and code not decode and code and you can pass like json okay let's refresh the page and check how it looks show go back and we can refresh the page so you can see it we are passing the all the data you can see it here like alex.com like that one alex you can see it mobile number so let's put here how it looks show directly you can see it here so let's back to for code and we can type here get data just you can copy and put here because this is the id so we can use the hash sign dot html whatever is it dot dot html you can see it here why i use the html because here is a passing the html json and we have already used data type is equal to json okay let's refresh now please so you can see it also look show you can see it. id name emails mobile number address you can found the data here so but you can see it like ajax wise we are get data just refresh the page and you can see like a file call and get the data and we can make like next video i will make like here is a add function also we make a action so like let's make here action also so just we can add a new fields so here i can make like actions and also i will make here blank so you can see it here data we can get so but do you want to make like a order by descending order so just you can go to here like the server side code and you can change the your select query say order by id dac and go back and refresh the page so you can see it like he's going to three two and one you see because descending order was the action make we can make edit and delete but right now no next video i will show you so do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this more video so please subscribe our channel thank you very much for watching